Hey y'all, welcome to day two of this Kickstart to Keto series. It's about 7.35 this morning. I'm going to make this intro a little short because I'm running a few minutes late to class. But, so far y'all have already really enjoyed yesterday's video and I love that y'all are too kind, too kind. So, like every single day, starting my day off with coffee and two servings of heavy whipping cream, drink it through a straw, save them pearly whites that I am whitening right now. It is time to go to class from 8 to 10, then I'm going to run home for a little while, then I got a long day ahead of me. A long, long day. Alright, I will check in with y'all in a bit. It is now like 1020. I just got back to my car after class and Texas A&M is a big campus. My walk from class to my next class is a mile long and I have to, I could take the bus, but when I take the bus, I'm late. So I just walk the mile there and back and I have like over 5,000 steps for the day already at 10 something in the morning. So that's always a good thing. Except it's like 90 something degrees and humid and I'm sweaty and gross. But, oh well, you know, get that exercise in. Who cares if I'm sweaty? I'm headed home. Hey guys, so I ran a few errands. Now I'm back home. And I'm going to make myself an omelet and a coffee smoothie or coffee frappuccino. I need to come up with a star with a darn name of this thing. I'ma call it a frappuccino, not a smoothie. What I'll have later is probably gonna be a smoothie. Oh well, cat. Get your brain together. Okay, time to go eat. And then I have to get ready for class in like an hour. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Every time. It's now that time that I am headed back to class. It is 12.30 and I have class at 1. And in this class, it is my lab for my advanced meat science class I am taking. And last week we had a lab where we had to taste all different kinds of cookies and juices and steaks. And while I'm not complaining, this week I think we also have another lab full of tasting food. So, I would have to figure out how to approach that aspect and be like, oh, I probably can't eat some of the stuff that we're tasting this week. I'm going to be a good kid and not eat it. I'm going to have to talk to the TA and be like, oh, my diet won't let me eat these cookies that we're supposed to eat. Oh well, they'll get over it. I'm going to go to class from 1 to 3 something. And then I'm going to sit up at school and study, and then I have a meeting, and then I have a test review, and then I'll come home, and then I have more tutoring, I need to go to the gym, I need to study more. How many things can I do in one day? Not enough, obviously, because I had time to sit here for 45 minutes. <laughs> Alright, time to go to class. I'm going to be gone a while. I feel bad when I leave my dog for this long. Quick little up. Day, my lab got out almost an hour early and my meeting at 515 got canceled so I don't have to be back up here until 530 for my exam review so since it's only 305 this gal gets to go home for a little while and I can do homework in the comfort of my own room woohoo all right I don't have that much time, but I figured I'd check it in and let y'all know what is going on. Hey guys, so I get asked a lot about how I kind of plan out my day and like what I eat and how I'm like, how I hit my macros. 
So, today's little educational talk is going to be kind of how I use my fitness pal to plan out my days and make sure I'm getting enough fat, not too much protein, and not going over on my carbs. So, I will show y'all kind of what I do. I have my macros ratios set in my fitness pal and I'm not trying to hit them spot on but I use them as a good guideline when I am planning out my food for the day. So every day or every night I try and sit at my computer and kind of plan out a rough outline of the food I'm going to eat for the day because when I know what I'm going to eat, when I know I, when I have a plan, I'm going to be a lot more likely to stick to what I'm supposed to do. So, let me show you what I do. So, every night before I go to bed, I pull up my fitness pal on my computer. And this is today's food. I already have everything that I'm going to eat today planned out. And so, let's go to tomorrow. So, one thing I do is every morning I know I'm going to have coffee with two servings of heavy whipping cream. So, I go ahead and add that so I have that in there I know that I'm going to want to have a smoothie at some point so go in add my cashew milk and my coffee now I'm going to change that to 1.5 servings of cashew milk my serving of coffee and then I'll add that so then I know for breakfast, I'm probably going to have three eggs cooked in butter. But I don't exactly know what I'm going to fill it in with. Probably going to do cream cheese again tomorrow. And then I'll just do add checked. So, I'm, this is how I plan it out. I have foods that I eat almost every single day. I know those are my go-to foods. And down here it tells you, so I'm already sitting at 652 calories, 8 grams of carbs, 57 grams of fat, and 24 grams of protein. When I reach this point, it's now kind of, I like to look at it like a puzzle that I get to fill in with food. So this is like my best puzzle ever. A lot of the times I'll use my phone and we'll just go through my pantry and start putting together meals that I have and just fill in, I'll scan the barcode, add it in. I play around with the macros until I kind of get close to my goals for the day. So last night I sat down at my computer and planned out all of today's food. So I have my coffee, my egg omelet with cream cheese. Y'all haven't seen me eat this yet but I'm going to have zucchini with some shrimp and some alfredo sauce and then I have my last meal of the day which is some beef and cheese and sour cream and then see this butter I was running really low on fats so I just went in and decided that I'm gonna stick a tablespoon of butter on my ground beef tonight and that'll up my fats just a little bit because I know I needed more and then I'm also going to have probably a smoothie tonight and I needed some fiber, so I'm going to throw some chia seeds in there. And some unsweetened coconut powder, some cashew milk. And that's how I plan my day. I can look down here at my totals. It's going to be 1,473 calories, 30 grams of carbs, but 10 grams of fiber. So I'm sitting at 20 net carbs, 113 grams of fat, and 83 grams of protein. Oh overview of my tips. Number one, if there's something you eat every single day, go to MyFitnessPal, put that in first. Number two, just start adding in foods, then going into your nutrition and just kind of play in that puzzle game. That's all, that all, it, that, that is all it is. It's just a game you get to play with food. So number three, make sure the night before you sit down, take five minutes of your time 
to plan out your day for the next day. I can promise you it'll help you be a lot more successful when you're not trying to think spur of the moment, like what can I eat when you're starving and ravenous and just want to eat the entire kitchen. So that was today's little educational chat with Kat. And hopefully y'all got something out of it. Maybe if you are kind of new to my fitness pal, hopefully me showing you how I do it will help you out a little bit. So it's about 4.30. And I am going to make another meal because this gal is hungry. So I'm going to eat four ounces of this 85% lean ground beef that I cooked yesterday. I'm going to throw on top two servings of this plain cheese dip. And then two or a serving of sour cream on top of that. And I'm going to mix it all together. And that is my... This is definitely not the prettiest meal. It's just kind of meat mixed with cheese and sour cream. And I'm going to nom on this. Hey guys, so I am on my way home from my test review. And I had something that I just wanted to share with y'all. Don't you wish that there was more time in the freaking day? Because I do. I have so many incredible ideas that I want to pursue but you know school's got to come first like there's so many YouTube videos I want to make there's an ebook I want to create that I know would be so incredible I have some incredible ideas and recipes that blow my mind that I want to share with y'all but I don't have enough time in the darn day all right rant thought session with cat is over it's now time to head home, do some studying, get a workout in. So, first off, say hi to my new cow painting that is hanging up in my room. But, I have tutoring from 10 to 11 o'clock tonight, and it's already 7-11. And I have so much to do, so much to study for my exam on Friday. So, instead of making a, like, two hour trip to the gym for legs, I came up with a little leg workout that I'm going to do at my little gym that's right across the street in my apartment complex, but I really wouldn't call it a gym. It's more of like a building or a room with some dumbbells. It's a piece of crap, but I'll show you the little workout I came up with and it's going to be a kind of quick little get my heart rate up, get a little workout in kind of workout. Bow, he's a bow, he's a bow. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? So this is the workout I am going to do. I have four different sets. I'm going to repeat each set three times. So goblet squats and band kickbacks, walking lunges and lateral band walks, box step ups and squat jumps, and then curtsy lunges and burpees. I'm going to do this workout real quick and it's gonna be rough. Hey guys, so I am back from my little circuit workout. It took me about 25 minutes to do those four rounds and I feel like I'm dying, but I could not stand the thought of eating anything hot right now. So I made myself another smoothie thing. It's a cup of cashew milk, one serving or a tablespoon of chia seeds and a little bit of unsweetened cocoa powder. And I blended it up with six ice cubes. And I have this little recovery shake. As you can see, it's been like 10 minutes since I've worked out and I'm still drenched, drenched in sweat. I can't talk. I'm going to drink this. I have an hour and 20 minutes until I have to go to tutoring from 10 to freaking 11 tonight. And then I'm going to study all night. All right. I will see y'all at some point. I'm tired, y'all. Hey guys, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up for the night here before I go to tutoring. I'm getting pretty stressed out about this exam on Friday just because there's so much material that I have to to know. Yeah, to know. So, I apologize if the next day or two my videos are kind of up at a weird time or something just because my schoolwork has to come before editing a video. 
so I'll get to it when I have time. Don't worry, I'll have new uploads all weekend. But I hope that you enjoyed day two of my Kickstart to Keto series. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and want me to make more videos. And I will see y'all again when I can get the next video uploaded. <laughs> Bye guys. Tutoring time.